As we are speaking right now, there appears to have been a breach in the United States Capitol. This time, it is with individuals who are allegedly calling for a ceasefire. I say allegedly because that is what we know now calling for a ceasefire in the Middle East with regard to the fighting between Israel and Hamas after Hamas breached Israel's borders on October 7th in the largest terrorist attack in that nation's history. According to JVP, at least 10,000 people were outside of the Capitol over the past few hours, while 500 have made themselves, made their way, excuse me, inside of the Capitol rotunda. Also, according to JVP and re-reported by Fox News, These individuals are there to, quote, challenge the Israeli government's ongoing ethnic cleansing of Palestinians. Now, that one quote may be from certain individuals who appear to be at the Capitol right now. But as we are seeing from some of this footage, there appears to be individuals who are wearing yarmulkes. That means that we have reason to assume that they are Jewish. So again, this appears from what we know to be a gathering, a protest of both Jews and non-Jews, people maybe of Palestinian descent and people of Jewish descent who are saying the same thing, that they want a ceasefire in Israel. Many of these protesters are dressed in black shirts. Some say Jews say ceasefire now. That supports the high hypothesis. Again, what we know that there are some Jews that are there. Not in our name is another uh, slogan that is put on these shirts. But the point is, there has been a breach of the Capitol. There are hundreds of people who are now inside of the rotunda of the Capitol in protest of things that are going on in Israel. Now, this comes a day after there was a bombing of a hospital in Gaza, which killed 500 Palestinians. After that bombing, there were people in the United States and, of course, in the Middle East who were jumping to say that Israel was behind the bombing. However, according to the IDF and the Defense Department, Israel was not behind the bombing. That is what we know now. It has not been totally confirmed, but that is what we know from those two sources now. They say that actually Palestinians were behind the bombing. They intended the bomb to go into Israel, and apparently it backfired and went into that hospital. But nevertheless, many of these individuals in the capital today may likely be there because they think that the Israeli government was behind the bombing. Some Democrats in the United States Congress have repeated that hypothesis that Israel was behind the bombing. President Biden, when he was asked about this occurrence yesterday, said, I'm not saying that they, Hamas, meant to do it. They've got to learn to shoot straight. I'm hearing from my producer that it has been confirmed that there is at least one Jewish Zionist group that is present right now in the rotunda. Let us pause for a moment and just kind of zoom out. There's a lot that's been going on in the United States over the past 10 to 11 days since the October 7th pogrom in Israel. We have really seen that this development in the Middle East has ignited some left versus right, liberal left wing versus right wing fire and strife here in the United States. And what has been fascinating to see is that a lot of people on the left who support Israel are actually kind of seeing some of the things that the right wing has been talking about over the past three years. And many of those individuals called the right wing extreme, said the right was exaggerating with regard to some of these points, but now it appears that they are seeing the light. To give some examples, the Harvard student letter obviously rocked the nation. It inspired this this, uh, kind of reckoning about the intense left wing infiltration of college campuses by students. You know, a lot of people on the left who support Israel previously gave a lot of credence to those individual students over time as they were voicing extreme views about America. And now they're voicing extreme views about Israel. And finally, many of these individuals are waking up to that to the fact that the right was actually right about the fact that these institutions have gotten too left wing. Another example is Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter posted a despicable infographic depicting a Hamas paraglider like the ones who raped, slaughtered, mutilated and kidnapped innocent civilians. And now we see that a lot of secular left wing pro Israel Americans, both Jewish and non Jewish, are seeing wow. Black Lives Matter really is a violent, self-dealing, terrible organization, which does not help the people who it intends or claims to support. 
And perhaps what's going on today, a breach of many hundreds of people in a capital, will make some of those individuals perhaps contemplate some of the points that they smeared that conservatives have been talking about, namely the political persecution of people on January 6th. I condone the breach of the Capitol on January 6th. It was wrong. You should never trespass into a federal building. Never, especially violently. And I condemn it today. However, we need to point some things out, including that there is an individual among others right now, his name is John Strand, who is serving a two-year sentence right now for going into the Capitol on January 6th with a bullhorn to protest vaccines. How is what these individuals are doing today different from what John Strand did? Will they get a two-year sentence for breaching the Capitol and making a political statement? We are in a moment right now. What's going on in the Middle East is awakening some developments among people here in the United States. Let us keep learning, keep internalizing what is going on. And I hope many people will see that some of the things that conservatives have been talking about haven't been so crazy after all. Thanks for joining me. I'll keep you updated on all of these as, as they unfold right here on Julie Noted. I'll see you soon.